Hello, it's the IT Guys here, and today we're going to be looking at filtering or sorting our data. So what this will let us do is go through a long list of data, like I've got here, and find specific entries. So this table of data I've got here, which I'm highlighting now, whoops, there we go, is a set of sales data for three different years, 2011, 12, and 13. I've also got the number of sales in that year, and the profit for all that year. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to click on data. Now, if you turn down to filter, we've got a couple of options. To start with, we're going to just insert an auto filter. And what this will do is put these arrows at the top of our data, like this, in our headings. So, if, say, I just, just wanted to see the data for 2012, under the year heading, I'll click the arrow and select 2012. And now I'll just have the 12 months of 2012. To take this filter off, I'm just going to click all again. For another example, I might want to have the profits, which are 132. So that will just give me the one in June 2013, we had 132 pounds of profit. You can see when you've got a filter, which heading you're filtering under because the icon will go blue and have a little blue square. Click you can see. Click on this to check what you're filtering. You can click all again and it'll bring us back all of our data. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this auto filter off our data. Instead put a standard filter on. So we're going to go filter and click auto filter. You can see we've got an auto filter at the moment. It's got this in blue. We click that and it will take us off again. We go on to filter. We're now going to put in a standard filter. So what I want to do is I want to have any of the profit which is greater than or equal to 400 pounds. So this is the first operator. I could have another operator. So and in the year of 2013. So I want all of the profits that are 400 pounds and it has to be in 2013. And if I click OK, I can find that March, August, October and December in 2013 each had a profit of over 400 pounds. So that's how you use a standard filter. You can also use a standard filter where we take them off again, so none. If you insert the basic auto filters first. So if you click here, that's the other way you can insert a standard filter. And I can do exactly the same thing here. So profit equals, I don't want equal, I want greater than or equals to 400 pounds. And there they all are. This time I've got from 2011, 12 and 13. Filters are most useful with large data sets. You can also use them in small sets like I've got here. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time when we're going to be doing more of the Cut tutorials. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and favorite this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.